Hello, my name is Lauren and welcome back to Smooth Club with Jelly. And today we are going to be tackling oranges. We pick up oranges in January and February from a citrus truck that drives up from Florida and visits about three different states before turning around. This time we were able to snag honey bales. Last year they sold out before they got to us. So I was able to grab some. Next month we typically pick up uh, navel and mandarins. So we will tackle mandarins later. But I wanted to get into four ways to Sunday of dealing with these oranges. I got four things in mind and hopefully I could come up with a fifth. But if not, four ways of preserving oranges. So what first I'm going to do is go through and see who's um, a little soft and I'm going to set those aside. They're going to be some of the first ones that we are going to juice or do something with. If they got a bruise spot on it, I'm definitely going to use those first. Okay, so I went ahead and gave these a quick wash. And now I'm just going to do simple as cut them in half. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, it's like a burst. <laughs> it smells like a burst of sunshine in here. Oh, this, this smells so good. All right, they're so pretty. So, of course, we're going to try to juice some, see what it tastes like. Honey bills are not good to freeze. That's what we were informed. We were told that you are better off eating these fresh or drinking these fresh but freezing it does not give it the best orange flavor last year we froze a ton of mandarins wow <laughs> you get like a sip let's see what a whole orange will give you they are quite juicy i'm not quite sure <laughs> Oh, it looks nice. You want to taste this? Uh-huh. Oh. Is it good? Yeah? I scratched my eye. <laughs> Do you want to drink the rest of it? Definitely. You want more? Yes. Okay, let me squeeze some more. And next... Turn the orange all the way around. Okay, thumb it up. Get the orange <laughs> I did it! Alright. Bye, baby! Bye! <laughs> So, we're gonna, I'm going to juice a little bit more so that everybody has some fresh orange juice for the morning. And we are going to preserve a lot more of the orange juice for the spring and summer months using mandarins when they come in in February. The mandarins are not available right now, so that's how come um, we did honey bills. They are only for January. So, let's go ahead and finish off a couple more glasses. All right, so I juice some for myself, do some icing and hubbies. He'll probably throw some icing when he comes along. Oh, it's good. I left pop in mine because I was too, <laughs> too lazy to take it out, but it's still good. Okay, so number two, all the... So all these skins that are left over, 
I'm going to do is take a spoon and start scooping out the pulp in it and leaving just the white rind. That way we can do step two. Now, I don't really do anything with the pulp. If you have some animals, I'm pretty sure some pigs will enjoy it. Um, I'm not even sure if other animals can eat it, maybe horses. You do your research if you have animals and they can enjoy the pulp. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and start scraping out the majority of the pulp that's left over. And some of the casings of the orange, I'm pretty sure it's a technical term for that. But scoop it all down to the white pith. It should be as clean as possible. I'm using a spoon. I'm pretty sure you could use a fork or a knife. And you just want to get as much of it out so that it's as squeaky clean as possible. It is now the next day. I was so exhausted after doing the orange juice throughout the day and other cooking that I just left them in the fridge overnight. Now I am going to stuff these two quart sized jars filled with the orange half pieces that have already had all the pulp scooped out and stuff them down into these jars. The first one I added the vinegar first then the orange rinds in the second jar I realized add the rinds first and then fill with vinegar okay so I got one jar stuffed and then as I work through the next bunch of oranges I'll keep stuffing jars until we have anywhere between uh, two to four quarts worth of orange vinegar we cannot stand the smell of vinegar uh, white vinegar by itself and so since we use this to clean a few items around the home especially like toys then um having an orange scent or lemon scent is really helpful so please give this a go especially if you cannot stand the smell of oranges i mean i'm sorry cannot stand the smell of vinegar try oranges all right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is slice up oranges so they can go in a dehydrator. Last year, we dehydrated some oranges in the oven. Not a good choice, but a possible choice. And we were able to put them into some iced tea throughout the summer and give our iced tea a fun punch, especially when we were trying to make it a sun tea. So this year, I'm gonna use the actual dehydrator and not mess with the oven because it cooked the oranges versus drying the oranges so i'm gonna go ahead and get four oranges started first and then i'll work my way down and around see if we need some more So another way we're going to use up some of the oranges is to make some orange cream popsicles. It's very helpful when you have a sick kiddo to feel better, but um, it's very simple. Favorite vanilla ice cream and juicing your oranges. 
if you're able to use the rind in the orange use that i have no plans of adding sugar or honey to this because the oranges are sweet enough and ice cream is sweet enough the more icy you want your pop you need to add more ice uh more orange juice to ice cream the creamier your popsicle you want it to be add more ice cream to orange juice ratio there's not really a science to this other than that all right you ready to get juicing yeah you bet you say that <laughs> this, okay so the first thing we need is some i um we need to squish this one here and then then we have the um and then we have to pour into one of these, and then... Go ahead and do it, the oranges first. Okay, and then you have to do the ice cream. But do the orange first, please. Two hands, one on the cup. Hi guys, so so now when our popsicles are frozen, I can eat one and 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 when I grow up I can show you how to make your own popsicles. Bye. <laughs> well, he's off and he's gonna enjoy his orange cream popsicle. I'm gonna give one a try. I hope you guys can give these orange recipes a try to enjoy it's a good way to preserve them it's a good way to use them get them in your body now that we need that vitamin c and also help encourage you to buy in bulk that way you can use in a variety of way other than just eating it we will be picking up another large batch of mandarins in february and doing the same thing except for we will be freezing a lot of that juice I hope to see you guys next time here on Spoonfilla Jelly, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.